Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip uh, explains how to work some problems about algebra that you might see on the ASVAB military test. So write the constant term of x plus 9 times x plus 7. So let's go ahead and multiply that and see what we get. x times x is x squared. x times 7 is 7x. Now we'll do 9 times x. And then we'll do 9 times 7. And then we'll combine like terms. We have two terms with an x in them. 9 plus 7 is 16. OK, so they're same for the constant term. Well, the constant term is the 63. Solve for x in 3x plus 9, 3x, 3 times x plus 9 plus 6 equals 2. Let's subtract the 6 first. So we get 3x plus 9, 3 times x plus 9 equals negative 4. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. And let's divide each side by 3. So x plus 9 equals negative 1.2. 3, 3, repeating. And we're going to subtract 9 from each side. So that would be x equals negative 10.33, 3, repeating. If, x e if negative 2 times x equals 30, then x equals, well, the opposite of multiply by negative 2 is divide by negative 2. So x equals negative 15. Half of 30 is 15. And then don't forget, we're dividing by a negative, so it changes the sign to negative. 0 0.06 inches of rain falls in one minute. How many inches will fall in two hours? 0 0.06 inches per minute times 60 minutes per hour times two hours. The hours cancel, the minutes cancel, and we just have inches. So um, 0 0.06 times 60 times 2. Um, 6 times 6 is 36. And then we have 6 times 60 would be 360, but there's two decimal places there, so it'll be 3.6. And two of those um, two, that's for one hour, and then two of those. So two times 3.6 is, two times six is 12, two times six is, six plus one is seven. So 7.2 inches in two hours. That's quite a storm. Write the y coefficient of y plus three times y plus two. So y times y is y squared, and y times 2 is 2y, and then 3 times y is 3y, and 3 times 2 is 6. Combining like terms, 2y and 3y is 5y, so we have y squared plus 5y plus 6. They want the coefficient of the y term. This one is the y squared term. This one's the constant. So we want the 5, which is the coefficient of the y term, the y coefficient. x equals 6. What's the value of p? Well, let's replace x with a 6. So p equals 6 times 8 divided by 2, and then we're going to subtract 3. Well, 6 times 8 is 48. Divide that by 2, and you get 24. Sorry. <laughs> 24 minus 3 is 21. <clears throat> 
So just a review of some algebra questions that you could possibly see on the ASVAB test. 